Hi everyone, Rainy with whyamigreen.com and today I'm going to show you how I put together a cold weather outdoor quarantine tent for my plants. Now here's the situation, okay? I had all my bonsai plants and my hot peppers uh, as you recall, even my little uh, seedlings, all indoors. I had a beautiful place in there, and I got aphids. And I got infested with aphids. And I tried neem oil, and I tried some other mm, not-so-good stuff that killed a lot of my plants. But I've been using neem oil on and off for quite a while, and they just seem to come back. So then I says, ah, I'm going to bring them outside. I'm going to create a quarantine place, and I'm going to give them ladybugs. So I have my soldier ladybugs, which I'll do another video on unboxing and releasing them at another time. So for right now, let me show you how I created my quarantine tent. Here we go. All right, so here we go. Here's my quarantine tent. What I did was I started out by going to, uh, where was it, Big Lots, and they had this little tent I believe it's like five feet by five feet by about seven feet tall. It's just a small greenhouse and it sells for $50 but they were having a 20% off sale and I got it for about $40. Now the only problem with this tent is it did not have a screen door and it did not have windows so it's pretty hot in there. And, of course, we've had been having warm days and cold days. Last night was in the 30s. Yesterday was in the 70s. So it's kind of hard to, you know, really uh, gauge it. And without windows, it could get tough. So what I did was, as you can see over here, I actually cut out my own window, the top, and put Velcro around there so I could unroll this. Okay. And I made one just like it on the back. I'll just put it like this for now. I made one like it on the back. And then I went to... Oh, I, where did I get this? Rite Aid. Rite Aid has a lot of those as seen on TV commercials. And I got one of these magnetic screen doors to put on here. And you can see how that works. Just opens up this way. And watch when I let go. Oops. It's starting to catch. And it just catches right on. Now, no matter how sealed you make this thing, it's going to, you're going to be losing some of the ladybugs because they crawl into anything. So now going inside, oh, first of all, the other thing I did was I put a tarp on the ground. And as you can see, I taped the tarp on the ground and the front and the back. And then when I put the greenhouse on, ooh, as you can see in the back of the greenhouse here, I taped the greenhouse. It has like a lip that can go on the inside to the tarp. So there's no way the bugs are going to escape down there. The only way they're going to probably escape is through the door. Okay. And I had Velcroed along the door, but didn't do a real good job, so I actually duct tape it too. So here's the window, and the door is a little bit tall. The doors that you get, they come, uh, pro they're probably about eight feet. So I had to double them over and this and that. So I think it's going to work pretty good. Over here in the back, I actually created another window. This one was a little different. This one, I can roll it up. And then I take this little screen thing I made. And I can put that up there to be a screen on a warm day and vent the air out. That's the problem with this kind of greenhouse. If you don't have any kind of a window on the top, it gets very hot in here. And the reason why I wanted the screen off is because I noticed that in the spring, what happens is uh, black flies will get in here and they'll accumulate. And I must have had, oh, in my other greenhouse, I have a larger one that doesn't have a window at the top. And I must have had, oh, probably 200 or more black flies and they couldn't get out in the front or the back. So when I took the greenhouse down, I said, next time I'm going to put a window up. So, what I have in here for the quarantine, as you can see, is I get, these are all the plants. First, I'll show you. These are the ones that I had in the house a while back. These are my Carolina Reapers. Right from, straight from the Pucker Buck Company. So, from the original person that created them. And here, these are my Bonchi, 
which is bonsai of pepper plants. You can see there's a Carolina Reaper. That's another Reaper. I've got uh, ghost peppers. I got Trinidad scorpions. And down here, I got more of those. And over here, I've got a few. This is a Reaper. I just started having some fun with right over here. Nice and stretched out. Matter of fact, I got one over here. It has all the wire and everything I'm having. I'm going to make this one look like a really cool spread out spooky tree. <laughs> and then what I did was, which I showed you in a previous video, is I cut down a lot of my other peppers. Like this one here is a ghost pepper. And these are being winterized. Now yes, you should take the fruit off, but since I had so many still and it was getting cold, I had to get them in the heated house because I'm afraid frost is going to kill them tonight. So I left some of the peppers on. It was twice as many. This plant was... It was huge. It was like all the way up to here. Okay. So I left some of the peppers on just to see if they're going to do anything. So this is a mixture of bonsai and like you can see down here, that's just winterized. And I showed you those are all winterized. There's two more I winterized. There's another one I left a bunch of peppers on. That's a uh, chocolate. And I think it's a, uh, oh, what do they call that? A, A, A. Seven pod chocolate, there you go. And here's another one here. It's a white naga right there, and I left a couple of the peppers on it. So I got a mixture of seedlings that are gonna go in pots soon enough, and bonchi and winterized peppers. And then down here I have an electric heater. And I'm gonna be leaving that at 60 degrees. Uh, it's on right now because yeah, it's still about maybe 45 or 50 outside. So this way, uh, the ladybugs are going to have fun. They'll be able to move around because if it's too cold, they're just going to go dormant. And, of course, the aphids, with the heat, continue to grow, which is going to give them more food. So that's what I have. That's my greenhouse. And let me step out of it. The quarantine with my magnetic strips. And I will, like I said, very shortly I'll be making my ladybug release. And you'll be able to see how the ladybugs do, uh, how they come in. It's pretty interesting how they package them. And for me, it's going to be a great comparison to see how they do in comparison to neem oil. Because the neem oil, hey, it really lowered their population, but it didn't get rid of them. So I'd like to thank you for visiting. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And please, if you haven't done so, subscribe so I can grow my channel. And why do I want to grow my channel? Because if you're not growing, you're not green. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.